Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Whiteboard app to have students share their screens inside the classroom. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up the Whiteboard app. And I'm going to sign in to the Whiteboard app using my companion app that's on my phone. And all I have to do is click on the QR code scanner and then point it over here to the bottom right at the QR code. And then that will allow me to sign in. Now, I know that I'm signed in because my host name is right here. It's Jerry Broyles. The students will need to know that host name so that they can connect to the My View Board app. Now, we're, they're going to go up, we're going to go up here as a teacher and click on the wireless presentation. And you can turn this on and off by clicking on the symbol right here. This enables it and disables it. Right now, it's disabled. It's red so that students cannot connect to your whiteboard app. You can go ahead and click on it to make it green. And now they have the option to actually share their screen with you. Now I'm going to show you on another screen. I'm going to bring over a Chrome tab to our recording. Let's see, let me grab that and bring it over. And what students will do is this. They'll open up a Chrome browser tab. They will type in myviewboard.com and then put a slash at the end, and then they will type in the host name. In this case, it's Jerry Broyles, and they'll type, they'll press the enter key. Here, they will type in their name. I'm gonna use my son's name, which is Harrison Broyles, and press confirm. Now, they have some options here. Maybe they have thrown files to the whiteboard before, or maybe they've been involved in a pop quiz or, or even a poll. This time they're going to use a screen sharing icon and click on it. And it's going to ask them for their name again. And I'm going to type in Harrison's name. And make sure that it's being shared to the host name Jerry Broyles in this case. Then they'll click on share. And then they have a choice of how to share their screen on their Chromebook. Um, they can do the entire screen or they can choose a window and that's what I'm going to do for mine. So in this case, the student is going to share a window and then they'll click on share again. And then if you notice, you heard that sound, that was the whiteboard app and a notification. So right here, I'm back at the whiteboard app. I have a notification showing here. If I click on these down here, it will show me students that have tried to share their screen. In this case, we see the one from Harrison Broyles. So we're going to click on that. We also see that we're sharing down here a window. And now Harrison's screen is going to come up here. And I'm going to maximize it so you can see a little bit better in the video. And now it's showing his screen and all the tabs that he has open. So I'm going to go over to that screen and act as him. And he can show how to solve a problem. Maybe he's moving manipulatives in on a Google slide deck and just moving those over to show students how to do that. Or maybe he has a project that he has created, maybe in Adobe Spark, and he wants to show the final product. Maybe they're working on the Outsiders, uh, just doing a graphic for it, and he shows them how to change colors or change the background or add some other kind of tool that they're using inside Adobe Spark. So an easy way for students to share screens there is very little lag time in this. And now I'm going to come back over to my whiteboard screen and I'm going to close this out. To do that, you can see his name is up here. So I'm going to click the X to disconnect. And then I'm going to stop the sharing as well down here. And that is how you can use the whiteboard app for students to share or cast their screens to the big screen inside your classroom and really increase engagement. 